Every piece of clothing we buy has had an impact on our environment before we even bring it home. That's before you step out the door, walk down the street, or even spot an attractive item you see hanging in the window. First of all, there's water composition. Two billion pairs of jeans are produced every year, and a typical pair takes 7,000 liters of water to produce. For a t-shirt, it takes 2,700 liters of water just to make one. That's the amount of water an average person drinks over the course of 900 days. Secondly, there is a dyeing process of which 1.7 million tons of various chemicals are used. Not to mention the harmful chemicals like PFCs leave, it, leave a permanent impact on our environment. And what about the clothing that doesn't make it to the market? An estimated 400 billion square meters of textiles are produced yearly of which 60 billion square meters are left on factory floors. Each year, over 80 billion pieces of clothing are produced worldwide. And after this short lifespan, three out of four pieces will end up in landfills. Only a quarter will be recycled. So how did we get this way? When did we become so obsessed with clothing? One obvious reason is fast fashion. An era where fashion bloggers are getting insta-famous, fast fashion has been promoted by many people with a large following. Just over the last five years, the top fast fashion retailers grew up to 9.7% per year. So how can we fix this? How can we fix fast fashion problems? Firstly, it starts with you, the consumer, and staying away from impulse buys and fast fashion retailers. And if you think that dumping a bag of clothing at your local charity shop will help get rid of all of that unwanted clothing, it doesn't quite work that way. Whilst donating is a great way of giving your threads a second life, not all can be recycled. H&M's World Recycling Week, in which their aim was to collect and recycle 1,000 tons of, all, uh, of used clothing, is an illusion of what true sustainability is as only 1% of collective clothing can be used as recycled fibers. Not only is fast fashion a problem which destroys our planet, but there's also a large number of clothing companies that we wear daily that underpay their worker, workers and keep them in poor conditions. In China, employees' mental health have been recorded to be so bad that many people have jumped out of the factory windows. Although getting a bargain makes us feel like we accomplished something, like money saving, 90% of the time the clothing is sold for so cheap is because of the state that their employees are kept in and they get given such low pay. Shein is one of the current largest clothing companies and is well known for their cheap prices. But the truth behind the brand is so shocking. Shein uses child labor. This means that some of the people supplying our clothes are as young as 14 years old. Not to mention, numerous times, Shein has falsely advertised their products and stolen people's personal information. So before ordering next brands like Shein, think about, is it really, is it really, is it really worth supporting large companies like this? In conclusion, fast fashion is unethical for our planet and mental health. With this happening on such a large scale, on a daily basis, it's hard to believe that we can make a difference. But we can still try. Stop buying from large brands like this and do your research before purchasing that impulse stuff you suddenly needed after seeing it on Instagram. I hope this topic changed your views on the fashion industry. Thank you very much.